Okay, tape measure, crown, spray paint, knee pads, insulation tape, water bottle, scissors to cut the mesh, glue gun is handy if you have one, and a paint tray and roller for your bonding liquid. So ensure the area that you want to install the heating is nice and clear. So give it a good sweep and then apply some bonding liquid to ensure good adhesion of the product to the floor. So once you've prepped your floor, mark out all your fixtures within the area, cupboards, island benches, staircases, whatever it might be within the area that you're planning on heating, accurately mark them out so that you know where you do and do not need to have floor heating. So the size of your recess that you require is dependent on how many heaters you have going up this conduit. If it is just one heater, it'll be a smaller area and conversely, if there's two, three, uh, it would have to be a lot bigger area. So hammer and chisel, chisel out the area. And then at the end, just clean it up with a dustpan and brush. So first up with attaching your coal tails to the draw wire, take them on one at a time per conduit. Make sure it's well connected and then pull the draw wire up the conduit, feeding in the coal tail at the bottom until you've pulled the full coal tail out and the junction is sitting at the recess in the floor. Okay, so first up is connecting the green alligator clip to the green wire, which is the earth. Put some tape around it, and then you're connecting up the red one to the brown wire, and then finally the black alligator clip to the blue wire, and um, put some more tape around it. And there we go. And then finally, you're just taping up the coal tails together so that they do not fall down onto the floor and be in the way while they're tiling. And then switch them on. If needs be, if the battery dies, you can replace the batteries.
a single run to the end. So what you do, Jay, is just taking a single lap to there. Okay. And then we'll come back and restore it. Thank you. 